will give thanks to the Lord, call upon His name, make known His deeds among the peoples. First Chronicles 16:8. Be always happy and thank the Lord for He is good. My dear students, it's time to stop and check what we have learned before. We are going to review three important topics. The first one, syllables. What is a syllable? A syllable is a part of a word. Look at the examples below. The word butterfly has three syllables. Ba Ter, fly. The word mother has two syllables, mother. All the words are divided into syllables. It's important to learn about them. When we studied this topic, we practiced saying these words. As you see, there is a number next to each word. This number means the number of syllables the word spelling has, for example. The word spelling has two syllables. Now, let's practice saying these words. Listen and repeat. Spelling Rabbit Saturday Sixteen March Conduct Hurting Tuesday Forty Clouded October Parch Woodpecker Trusted You can listen again and practice saying the words. Clapping also helps us a lot when we want to learn how many syllables a word has. Please do this activity in your notebook. Copy these words, listen and repeat, and find out the number of syllables each word has and write the number next to each word. Now, please, Look at the list of words. You have to copy them to your language arts notebook. Please listen and repeat. Celery Car Ace Mice Cute Cupcake Octagon Centipede Exact Scent Voice Race City Camera Cold Circle Okay, now it's your homework to find out the number of syllables each word has. Please don't forget to write the number next to each word. We continue studying syllables. Do you remember words that have double consonants in them? We studied these examples. Listen and repeat these words. Bubble 
bubble paddle paddle coffee coffee juggle juggle troller troller drummer drummer all these words have double consonants in the middle of them. Let's see how to divide words into syllables when we have words with double consonants in them. If a word has two consonants of the same letter in the middle of the word, the split into syllables happens between the two consonants. The split into syllables happens between the two consonants. Double D, the split happens between the two Ds. Double L, in brilliant, the split happens between the two consonants. Double L in hello. The split in two syllables happens between the two consonants. Double G in luggage. The split in two syllables happens between the two consonants. Double M in mammal. The split in two syllables happens between the two consonants. That's the way we work with words that have double consonants of the same letter in the middle of the word. Please do this activity in your notebook. Divide between the double consonants. Look at the example. Pizza. The split happens between the double consonants. Listen and repeat. Pizza. Happy. Kelly. Yellow. Puppy. Bully. Bali. Battle. Little. Sorry. Penny. Very good. Copy the words and divide them between the double consonants. A vowel and a consonant. Now, another important thing about syllables is that we have to know where to divide the words into syllables. Let's read. A word may be divided between a vowel and a consonant. In the word Bible, we have a vowel and a consonant. So, it is possible to divide a word between a vowel and a consonant. A vowel and a consonant. Let's see the second example. Chicken. As you see, we divide this word after CK. We divide the word after CK. Chick N. Chicken. Chick N. Chicken. Let's see more examples. Father. Vowel, consonant. Cover. Vowel, consonant. Tiger. Vowel, consonant. Pilot. 
vowel consonant. Let's see the second group. Locker. CK. We divide after CK. Flicker. We divide after CK. Sneaker. We divide after CK. Sticker. We divide after CK. Can you copy this exercise to your language arts notebook? Look at the examples. Please divide the other words into syllables. Split the words into syllables. Do this activity in your notebook. Divide these words between the vowel and the consonant. Divide the CK words after the CK. Look at the examples. Cockpit. The word is divided after the CK. Number two. Cricket. Deacons. Trickle. Autumn. Pigeon. Tiger. Tiger. Begin. Do the activity in your language arts notebook. The second topic we are going to review today is rhyming words. A rhyme is a repetition of similar sounds. Rhyming words are two or more words that don't start with the same sound, but they end with the same sound. Look at examples. Cat Fat. The ending sound is at. At. Bat, lad. The ending sound here is at. At. Let's see these examples. When we studied this lesson, we were asked to circle the rhyming words. The words are circled already. Listen and repeat. Fix. Mix. Fin. Win. Boat. Coat. Can. Van. Dive five. Dive five. Hide side. Deck neck. Well, bell. Do this activity in your notebook. Circle the rhyming words. Please listen and say the words. Ball, doll, tall, right, like, height. Owl, crawl, one, ball, chore, door, one, fang, gun, far, face, place, please. Copy the words to your language arts notebook 
and circle the rhyming words. The third topic we are going to review today is sentences. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. The word Tom, for example, is not a sentence. Tom likes is not a sentence. Tom likes oranges. Oh yes, this is a sentence. This sentence expresses a complete thought or idea. A sentence begins with a capital letter. Look at examples. He is funny. The sentence begins with a capital letter. Capital H. Second example. We went to the pond. This sentence begins with a capital letter. Capital W. A sentence usually ends with a period. Look at examples. Jesus loves me. Period. Capital letter. Period. The dog is lovely. Capital letter. Period. My father plays soccer. Capital letter, period. A sentence usually ends with a period. Phrases and sentences. A sentence is a group of words that expresses a complete thought. Jane saw the fish. This is a complete thought. A phrase is a group of words within a sentence. So the fish, for example, is only part of a thought. A phrase is not a complete thought. A phrase is a group of words within a a sentence. Is this a sentence? That tree. No, it's not a sentence. It's only a phrase. That tree is really tall. Is this a sentence? Yes, it is. My students are. Is this a sentence? No, it isn't. My students are intelligent. Is this a sentence? Yes, it is. Do this activity in your notebook. Circle each group of words that expresses a complete thought. Circle each group of words that expresses a complete thought. In other words, circle the sentences. Exercise 1. Listen and repeat. A monkey loves to eat bananas. A monkey loves to... Number two, lions are wild animals. Lions are... Three, animals enjoy gods. Animals enjoy God's word. Four, bear cubs box each other. 
bear cubs. Five, some animals. Some animals dig tunnels. Please copy these sentences to your language arts notebook and circle each group of words that expresses a, a complete thought. You have five exercises to do. Listening. Finish each sentence using all the words in the box. Listen and repeat. Read. Friend. Church. Pray. Please listen and complete the sentences with the correct words. Number one. I will pray every day. I will pray every day. Two. I can read my Bible. I can read my Bible. Three. Van liked to go to church. Van liked to go to church. Four. He will bring a friend. He will bring a friend. Five. 